Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. When you look at these people on the subway, on the bus, on the way to school or work, staring at their phones, what do you think they're doing? Browsing social media, checking social news, or playing video games? Ha! <laughs> Probably all. But as an EFL teacher, I notice in my life that many people will use such fragments of time to memorize English words. This is a more and more common thing. There are increasingly people relying on such apps to learn languages. Today, let's talk about these apps which help memorize vocabulary. There are a lot of apps in the App Store that help you memorize vocabulary like these. In fact, each app has its own characteristics, and there are many bloggers who recommend it and publicize them on different social platforms. There are also many people around me, including my students, who use this kind of apps. They will punch in the words every day according to the plan made in the app, and then share the finishing page automatically generated in the app to the social platform. In their opinion, this is a manifestation of perseverance and a kind of motivation for themselves. Why is this new way of learning language so popular? Convenience should be the biggest advantage. We do not need to carry a vocabulary book, nor do we need to write words on a notebook. Instead, we can use the short time of life to quickly accomplish the daily learning tasks, and send the badge of completion of the task to the social platform. The long-term accumulation will also bring everyone a sense of accomplishment. Another important reason is that such an app is very easy to obtain. There are many free resources, and it is a good choice for many basic language learners. Many friends with exam needs will also use such apps to accumulate the vocabulary needed in their exams, as a part of their preparation for the examination. But as a language teacher. Is this really a reliable way to learn vocabulary? Is the number of words you memorize really the number of words you master? Let's take a look at how these apps work, and how users memorize words in the process. Take Bai Zhan as an example. The swans are floating in the water. Float. This tool can grind the beans into powder. Grind. The dog tilted its head to the side. Tilt. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon blocks. This tablet dissolves in water. Dissolve. The player pitched the ball to me. Pitch. The drought has completely dried out the land. Drought. Water flows from the tap. Tap. A penguin choir sings Christmas songs. Choir. There is a leather saddle on the back of the horse. Saddle. Float. Float. Grind. Tilt. Eclipse. Dissolve. Pitch. Drought. Tap. Choir. Saddle. Float. Grind. Tilt. Eclipse. Eclipse, dissolve, pitch, drought, tap, choir, saddle, 
float. As it is shown, there are three stages using example sentences, pictures, and audio of the words to help to memorize the vocabulary. After that, the word will be the one that you mastered. There are four important points in vocabulary learning, which are also for teaching tasks that we need to complete in the classroom during the teaching process. That is pronunciation, meaning, spelling, and usage. When you really master a word, you need to know these four things. But these apps only do meanings. We know that many words are polysemous and have different meanings in different contexts, which is not included in the apps. For the most significant thing in learning of vocabulary is the usage of the vocabulary. But the majority of the apps are unable to do this. Even if some apps have voice recording part, in many people's opinion, it's an advantage. But there is no feedback. Whether your pronunciation is correct or not remains unknown. Therefore, these apps are not so reliable when learning languages. In fact, there are a lot of lack of learning links in this process. What's more, many people will finish the daily task because of the rush of time. The number lying in your software cannot prove your mastery of vocabulary. That is what I want to bring you today. See you next time.